Welcome to Matters With. I'm your host, Philip Bryan. Today, we're here to discuss novel matters with you. From New York Times bestselling author Michael Conley, Lincoln lawyer Mickey Holler enlists the help of Harry Bosch to prove the innocence of a woman convicted of killing her husband. From Little Brown and Company, 416 pages in hardback, it releases on November 7th of 23. The audio version is 10 hours and 30 minutes and is performed by Peter Giles, Titus Welliver, and Christine Lakin. This is the seventh book in the Lincoln Lawyer series and the 37th book in the overall overarching Bosch verse. Mickey Holler is dubbed a Lincoln Lawyer because he mostly conducts his legal business from a Lincoln Town Car or a Lincoln Navigator. Harry Bosch is his older half-brother, his Broheim. Harry is a retired LAPD detective and currently works as a private investigator. The primary story in this novel is them working to free a wrongfully convicted woman, Lucinda Sands, of killing her ex-husband, a respected LAPD sheriff's deputy. They seek to do this via a habeas corpus hearing. Now, habeas corpus, we've heard that in movies, what does it mean? Well, hey guys, I was just making a cup of coffee. Mm, good stuff. I heard you wanted to know what habeas corpus means, so I thought I'd spin around and tell you real quick. In Latin, it means you shall have the body and originates in the 17th century from United Kingdom, Great Britain, who cares? What it means is you're born with liberty and if the government locks you up, detains you, takes away your liberty, you have a right to ask the courts for a writ of habeas corpus, which means you need to tell me why I'm locked up, brother. Take me to the court, show me the man. And then the government has to show why you're being locked up. We're not going to talk about the suspensions of habeas corpus. They're never supposed to happen. Because I'm going to drink my cup of coffee. See you guys on the internet. I am a huge fan of this literary universe, this, this Bosch verse. Michael Conley has crafted something special with these novels that all exist together, but each stand on their own as a complete story. I have read all seven Lincoln Lawyer novels. This is a tense legal thriller that also has some good investigation procedural in it. However, of the seven Lincoln Lawyer novels, this one doesn't rank as one of the best yet. And I want to be clear, this is a well-written, well-crafted story. The first half of the book is a rock solid A. It teeters a little bit in the back 20% mostly, but the back half isn't as good as the first half. And that last 20% felt like some stuff was missing. If it hadn't been, and I'm just, I'm not even sure what's missing, but you, you read it and you know there is something missing. But yes, I love this universe. This is a very good book. I highly recommend it. I give it an A minus. Even if you've never read a Michael Conley book, you may have heard of Mickey Holler or Harry Bosch because there was a movie, The Lincoln Lawyer, about Mickey Holler. And there is also a Lincoln Lawyer television series. And there is a, there were two Harry Bosch series. There was one called Bosch. And then there is a spinoff slash sequel series called Bosch Legacy. So you may be familiar with these characters, whether you've ever read a Michael Conley book or not. The series do not interconnect. The series do not interconnect the way the books do. I said series. Okay. I found this on the web, but do not interconnect the way the books do. Check it out. Thank you, Siri. The television series exist in a separate universe from the novels and they exist in a separate universe from one another. But the novel series all interconnect yet, as I mentioned before, stand alone. Interesting note, in the literary universe, the movie The Lincoln Lawyer also exists. So in the literary universe, there is a Lincoln Lawyer movie. I highly recommend these. I'm a huge fan of this Bosch verse, as I've mentioned before. In fact, I would like you to meet the notorious insubordinate Harry Bosch my cat. If I were to tell you which Lincoln Lawyer book to start with, the obvious answer would be the Lincoln Lawyer, the first book, but I think the best book in the series is called The Brass Verdict. Resurrection Walk comes out November 7th. I highly recommend it. This is a good book and a good book series that exists in a good book, good novel universe. What's your favorite Lincoln Lawyer novel? What's your favorite book in the in the universe of Harry Bosch and Renee Ballard and Jack McAvoy and uh, Terry Mc Terry, why can't I remember Terry's name? Terry McCaleb, who uh, there was a movie made about him too called Bloodwork, starring Clint Eastwood. Side side, off track. 
What's your favorite book in the Harry Bosch universe? If you've not read one, what is one of your favorite book series that expands into sub-series that takes place across several lead characters? Have you seen the Lincoln Lawyer series? Have you seen the Harry Bosch series? Have you seen the Lincoln Lawyer movie? Do you feel... Do you share in my frustration that in the cinematic version of the television series that the characters do not intertwine the way they do in the in the novel series? And I understand that comes down to rights. I got it. It's just not the way the contracts are set up, but it is a shame. <laughs> anyway, this is a good book. Give it a read. Oh, I didn't get to hear the audio version. So my my review of saying it's very good is based on the written piece. However, I have no doubt that the audio version is fantastic based on that Peter Giles, Titus Welliver, and Christine Lakin are in charge of delivering you this novel vocally. We'll talk soon. You are Mickey Holler, and you win cases. That's what you do.